Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 5 Series Generation E60-61. This is the 5 Series BMW from year 2003 to year 2010. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the fuse for the turbo solenoid valve is located, which fuse you need to check, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money, and why it's important to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure it's stay until the end. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have BMW E60, 61, that generation 5 series, we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay. Why? To save you time and money. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse blows out, what do you need to do? Okay, it takes forever to find where it's located, it's so complicated, you may have even multiple fuses, and all you have to do, come to our channel, search for it, and you'll be able to find that video, watch it, and in less than two minutes, you replace the fuses, you're back on the road. Something else guys, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos, we take them completely apart, we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything. Engines, transmissions, why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you money guys. We have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy parts to use for your BMW or any car, we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. And if you need to buy cheap fuses, relays, anything for your BMW, links will be shared as well. So let's continue now. So now guys, where that turbo solenoid valve fuse is located, we'll demonstrate on a 2008 model BMW 5 series. Even if you have a different year or before the facelifted version or pre-facelifted or facelifted version, it will work as well. We have three different fuse boxes, we'll work in one of them. That fuse box, it's hard to get to where it's located under the hood. Open the hood guys on your BMW, right in front of the windshield. And behind the shock tower here you have one trim cover next to the, the strut support. Remove that trim cover, you get to a fuse box. Open that fuse box and you will see a layout like this one. Complete mess, multiple cables, wires, modules, relays, fuses. Before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I'll never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So the turbo solenoid valve fuse where it's located, you may have uh, 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 we may need to check up to two different fuses because it depends on the model, configuration and engine guys. If you zoom in, you will need to be looking for a fuse box that looks like this one, that little bitty fuse box right here. It consists of five fuses. It could be placed in different locations in that fuse box, but that fuse box, you will need to find it. In this fuse box, you will need to check fuse number one for some engines, which is a 20 amp fuse or fuse number four guys one or four it could be any of these fuses depending again on the year model and configuration hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time